Welcome to a video where we will look at an application of rational functions. In this video, we're going to learn about the average cost function. Let's get started. Here's the definition for the average cost function. The average cost of producing Q items with a total cost of C of Q is given by the function AC of Q is equal to C of Q divided by Q. This is where we're taking the total cost to produce Q items and we're dividing it by the number of items produced, which is Q. If you think back to when you learned about averages, usually that's when you sum up the items and divide by the number of items that you added together. In a similar fashion, average cost is the total of all of our costs divided by the number of items we produce. The average cost function is also written as A of Q or sometimes C bar of Q. Let's look at an example. Suppose that manufacturing an item has fixed costs of $4,000 and a per item or marginal cost of $20 per item. Let's find the average cost per item when 250 items are produced. Before we can find the average cost, we first need to find our total cost. Our total costs are the sum of our fixed costs plus our variable cost. So for our function C of Q, our fixed cost was $4,000. And our per item cost or our marginal cost was $20 per item. So our variable cost would be $20 times Q where Q is the number of items produced. Now we can find our average cost by taking our total cost function and dividing it by the number of items produced. In this case, we'll take 4,000 plus 20 Q and divide that by Q. That is our average cost function. Now we wanna find the average cost when 200 items are produced. So let's find the average cost to produce 250 items by plugging 250 into our function. This will give us 4,000 plus 20 times 250, all divided by 250. Using our calculator, we'll take 4,000 plus 20 times 250, and notice I'm putting that in parentheses, and dividing that whole thing by 250, and that gives us $36. So the average cost of an item when 250 items are produced is $36. Now that we have our average cost function, let's determine the horizontal asymptote for the average cost function and then interpret its meaning using the context of the problem. When we're finding the horizontal asymptote, we want to look at the degree of the polynomial in the numerator and the degree of the polynomial in the denominator. So since the degree of the numerator is one and the degree of the denominator is also one, to find the horizontal asymptote, we're going to look at the ratio of the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient for the numerator is 20. The leading coefficient for the denominator is one. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at 20 over one or just 20. So essentially this means that as Q goes to infinity, our average cost is trending toward $20. As Q goes to infinity, that means that as our production increases, the average cost trends to $20 per item. Let's take a look at the graph and see what's going on. Here's the graph of our average cost function, 4,000 plus 20 Q divided by Q. I've also linked this graph in the description of this video. The graph shows us that this is a decreasing function. That means that the average cost is de decreasing as production increases but this curve also eventually levels off toward the per item cost of $20. That means at a certain point, no matter how many items we produce, our average cost is gonna run us about $20 per item. 
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.